Hi, I'm Allie, the hands behind the turtle trunk, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this amigurumi cabbage. If you're following along with the Pregnancy Progress Project, this is week 30, when baby is about the same size as a cabbage at about 3 pounds. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now let's get started. For today's tutorial, you will need medium white yarn in the color green, a 4mm or G hook, polyfill stuffing, scissors, a yarn needle and stitch marker, and optional supplies include two 12 millimeter black safety eyes and black crochet thread. We're gonna start by making a magic circle. So we're gonna take our tail end of our yarn and wrap it around our index finger and our middle finger, wrap it around once, and when we come back around, we're gonna cross it over, and we're gonna take our hook and insert it under the first loop, grab the second loop, pull it under, flip it up, and then we're gonna secure our circle with a chain one. For round one, we are going to work seven half double crochets inside the circle. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Going to take the short tail end here and pull it tight to close up that hole. And at the end of round one, we should have seven half double crochets around. We're going to work straight into that next stitch. We're going to work two half double crochets into that first stitch. That's one. I'm just going to grab my stitch marker so I don't lose my spot. Okay, I'm going to work a second half double crochet into that same stitch. And then I'm going to work two half double crochets into the next stitch, two into the next stitch. We're just going to work two half double crochets into each stitch around. I'm just on the last stitch, so I'm going to work two half double crochets in the last stitch. And at the end of round two, our stitch count will now be at 14. For round three, I'm going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then two half double crochets into the second stitch. I'm going to repeat that around, one half double crochet into that first stitch, and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. I'm going to repeat that around for round three. I just have one stitch left, so I'm going to work two half double crochets into that last stitch. And at the end of round three, our stitch count will now be at 21. Now for round four, we're going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the second stitch, and then two half double crochets into the third stitch. And we're going to repeat that around. So one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then two half double crochets in the next. I'm just on the last stitch, so I'm going to work two half double crochets into the last stitch. And at the end of round four, our stitch count will now be at 28. And we're going to work one more increase round. So for round five, we're going to work one, sing or one half double crochet sorry, into that very first stitch, one half double crochet into the second stitch, and one half double crochet into the third stitch. And then we're going to work two half double crochets into the fourth stitch. And we're going to repeat that around. So one half double crochet at each of the next three stitches. And then two half double crochets into the next stitch. I just have one stitch left. Work two half double crochets in that last stitch. And at the end of round five, our stitch count is now at 35. 
And now we're on to round six. And for round six all the way through nine, we are just gonna work one half double crochet into each stitch around. So I just worked one half double crochet into the first stitch. And I'm just gonna work one into each stitch around. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way to the end of round nine. So our stitch count is gonna remain at 35 for each of these rounds. I'm just gonna continue on and I'm gonna catch up with you guys at the end of round nine. So I'm just coming up to the end of round nine. At the end of round nine, our stitch count will still be at 35. Before we move on to round 10, I'm gonna stop here to add the face to my cabbage. So I'm going to grab my safety eyes and their backings, and then my crochet thread and a yarn needle. So I'm gonna add my eyes right to the very first round we made. So between rounds one and two, uh, let me move this a little further apart. Let's see, maybe rounds two and three. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's between rounds two and three about. Then I'm gonna grab my crochet thread and yarn needle. I'm gonna go in through the back and I'm gonna go right beside one of the eyes and then down a little bit and then back up beside the other eye. I'm just gonna make a little V shape. Just wanna make sure everything's nice and even. I think that's pretty good so I'm gonna turn it inside out, tie up my thread and add the backings onto my eyes. Okay, once you have your eyes and your mouth set, we're gonna carry on to round 10. For round 10, we're gonna start closing up the hole. So we are going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the second stitch and one half double crochet into the third stitch. And then we're gonna half double crochet two together in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that around. One half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the second stitch, and one into the third stitch, and then half double crochet two together. I'm just coming up to the end of round 10. So in the last two stitches, I'm gonna half double crochet two together. And at the end of round 10, our total stitch count should now be at 28. Now we're on to round 11. For round 11, we're gonna work one half double crochet into the first stitch, and one half double crochet into the second stitch. And then we're gonna half double crochet two together. I'm gonna repeat that around. So one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then half double crochet two together. I just have two stitches left so I'm gonna half double crochet two together. And at the end of round 11, our stitch count is now at 21. We're now on to round 12, and for round 12, we are going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch, and then half double crochet two together. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around, so one half double crochet into the next stitch, and then half double crochet two together. I just have two stitches left, so I'm gonna half double crochet two together. And at the end of round 12, our total stitch count is now at 14. And before we move on to the next round, I'm gonna stop here and uh, fill up the cabbage with polyfill stuffing. 
I'm just going to grab a couple handfuls. And you can stuff it as much or as little as you'd like. The more filling you put in, the stiffer it will be. Uh, the less you put in, the squishier it will be. So it's totally up to you how much you put in. Okay, and I'm going to move on to round 13, which is going to be our last round for the main body of our cabbage. So for round 13, we are just going to work half double crochets, two together all the way around. So we're going to do a total of seven. So in the first two stitches, we're going to half double crochet two together. half double crochet two together in the next two. Half double crochet two together in the next two. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way around for a total of seven times. So I've just have two stitches left, so I'm gonna half double crochet two together in the last two stitches. And at the end of round 13, our total stitch count is seven. So to finish up the main body, I'm gonna work a slip stitch into the very first stitch, chain one, and then tie off. I'm gonna cut off my green yarn, leaving about a six inch tail. I'm just gonna take my hook and pull on that strand. I'm gonna grab my yarn needle and thread my yarn. And then I'm just going to work this tail end. I'm gonna weave it in and out through these last seven stitches. So just weave in and out of the last seven stitches that we worked. And when you get back to the beginning, you're just gonna pull tight to close up that hole and then I'm just going to secure it with a couple knots. And I'm just going to hide my tail end on the inside. And then just trim the excess yarn. So here we have the main body of our cabbage. So it's just a little ball. And now we're gonna make the leaves for it. So I'm gonna grab my hook again and continue with the green yarn. We're gonna start the leaves off by making a magic circle. Chain one. And then we're gonna work eight half double crochets inside the circle. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna take my tail end and pull it tight to close up that hole. So at the end of round one, our total stitch count is eight. And then working straight into that first stitch, I'm going to work two half double crochets. So that was one and two. And then I'm going to work two half double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way around for round two, working two half double crochets into each stitch around. I'm just on the last stitch, so I'm going to work two half double crochets in the last stitch. And at the end of round two, our total stitch count will now be at 16. Now on to round three. We are going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then two half double crochets into the second stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. 
one half double crochet into the next stitch and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. I just have one stitch left, so I'm going to work two half double crochets into that last stitch. And at the end of round three, our total stitch count is now at 24. For round four, we're going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the second stitch, and then two half double crochets into the third stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around, one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. And I'm just on the last stitch, so I'm going to work two half double crochets into the last stitch. And at the end of round four, our stitch count is now at 32. And we're going to work one more round. So for round five, we're going to work one half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the second stitch. One half double crochet into the third stitch. And then fourth stitch, we're going to work two half double crochets. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then two half double crochets in the next. I just have one stitch left, so I'm going to work two half double crochets in that very last stitch. And at the end of round five, our total stitch count is now at 40. So to tie off, I'm just going to slip stitch into the very first uh, stitch, chain one, and then I'm going to cut off my yarn, and I'm going to leave about a 10 inch tail because we're going to sew this onto the main body after. So I'm going to leave about a 10 inch tail. I'm just pull that. And then I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to make five more. So I want a total of six leaves. So I'm, we're going to make five more of these. So I'm going to set that one aside, grab my yarn again, and make another one. So I'm going to catch up with you guys when I'm all done making all six leaves. So I just finished making all six of the leaves. So I'm just going to start by taking one and I have my yarn needle here and then I'm going to take my main body of my cabbage. I'm just going to trim all of these small tails off. So I'm going to thread the long tail that we left. And we're just going to sew this to the main body of our cabbage. So we want all of our leaves to go, oops, go around our cabbage like so. So we're just going to sew the leaves to the bottom. So I'm going to line up so that our tail end is with the very back center. And I'm just going to sew about an inch of um, the leaf to the bottom. So working in both the leaf and the main body, it's going to attach right to the bottom center. I'm just going to work about an inch across. And then I'm just going to tie with a couple secure knots. And then weave this tail end right to the inside and then trim the excess. And then I'm just going to keep going around. So I'm going to start with 
a layer using three of the leaves. So I'm going to do one right here, and then one right here, and then I'm going to overlap the next layer. So moving on to the second leaf, I'm going to thread my needle. and go right beside this one. And again, working about an inch. You can sew up more if you want. It depends on how much um, excess leaf you want hanging down. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm working into the leaf and into the main body and just sewing two layers together. And then just securing with a knot, a couple knots. And then just hiding the tail end right on the inside, the main body, trimming the excess. And then we're Grab another one. Okay, so there we have one layer. So we have three leaves on. So now with the next three leaves, we're just gonna overlap them like that. So here's our little cabbage. So you can kind of just fold the leaves as you like. I like to just kind of curl the edges over. And there we go, there's our little cabbage. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you a part of the Turtle Trunk family. You can find this pattern and more free patterns on my new blog, whoshomemade.com. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to tag your photos with the hashtag Turtle Trunk Love so I can see your finished Turtle Trunk creations. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.